by the next Hilary Duff or Britney Spears YouTuber goals right there. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you can see by the tile in today's video, I'm gonna be attempting to give myself an early 2000s makeover. Now I just wanna say before we start, please excuse the hair. It's literally just tied back for the sake of me doing my makeup, which is where we're gonna start. Now, I don't know how many of you remember the 2000s or were even born in the 2000s, but basically makeup back then was quite a glossy look. You'd have the glossy lips, sometimes just sort of like lip balm. Face was very basic, very sort of glowy and dewy and eyeshadow was usually very light coloured, pinks or like purples or just sort of your nude cream kind of colours. We're gonna attempt the makeup and this is gonna feel so weird because there's so many steps in makeup that we do now that they didn't do back then. Eyebrows being one, primer being another. Let's get straight into the video. So like I said, we're not doing the brows, we're not doing the primer, so we're jumping straight in with foundation. This is the Revolution Pro Foundation Drops in the shade F4. I'm literally just gonna put a few drops of this on my face. I don't want it to be too cakey because I don't think anyone ever had super cakey foundation back then. I'm literally just gonna pat this into the skin. This shade of foundation is way off for me, if we're being honest. It's too much of a pink shade though. I don't think I put enough on there, actually. Okay, I'm here, like, trying to not put too much on and I don't think I've put enough on. I'm just gonna bother a little bit more foundation on just because I didn't put enough on. And then we're gonna move on to concealer. So I'm gonna be using the Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade C1. Now obviously I know a lot of these makeup products didn't exist in the early 2000s, but obviously I can't really get my hands on all the things that did. That'd be quite difficult. So I'm just using what I've got and working with it. So I'm just popping this all around my under eye cover those under eye bags up, pretend I get some sleep at night. I'm just gonna like cover up the blemishes on my chin. Now I'm pretty sure contouring wasn't a thing back then either so I'm not gonna be using the concealer to try and contour my face. And we're just gonna blend this concealer in. Now as I said the makeup back then is usually quite dewy and glowy so I'm not gonna put powder on because that'll mattify it and then that'll ruin the entire look so we're just gonna go straight in with a bit of like bronzer but again bronzer wasn't like a big thing no one had bronzer that stood out it's more blush you'd be more likely to see people go around with the big like pink cheeks but for the bronzer we're just gonna be using this mac bronzer in the shade refined golden And then going in with the blusher, which we're gonna probably put quite a bit of this on. It's one of the MAC ones, my lid's broken. This is in the shade Modern Mandarin. An orange kind of toned blush. I didn't really have a pink one, which is more what they would have had, but we're gonna, you know, make do with what we do have. Now that's done, I am gonna put like a tiny bit of highlighter on, but just the tiniest bit, just so I sort of get that more of a glow. I'm just going to put like the tiniest bit on the end of my nose and then the tiniest bit on the side of my cheeks just for a subtle natural kind of glow. Now onto the eyeshadow. So like I said, quite colourful sometimes but always light shades of colours. I'm going to start off with this eyeshadow palette which is from Boohoo and it basically just has some pale pink shades here which is what I'm gonna work with also using quite shimmery shadows was kind of a thing back then too apply some of that lightest shade first like sort of all over the lid then I'm gonna go in with the shade underneath this one and I'm just gonna do the same 
on the all over the lid. And then I've also got this mini eyeshadow palette, which is from Ted Baker. I have some slightly shimmery light shades. So I'm gonna go for the shade in the middle, which is like a shimmery pink color. I'm just gonna use my finger to apply this and I'm just sort of gonna put that like on the base of the lid. Ooh, ooh, this is pretty. Now I'm gonna move on to mascara. I'm using the Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara by Maybelline. That is mascara done. Now the only thing left to do is my lips, which I'm just going to be using like a lip oil for that. So I am going to be using the Zoella Watermelon Lip Oil. Just because it gives a really like natural kind of glow. And I don't have any like lipsticks or like lip liners, which are like a very light colour. I only own sort of like dark nudes, which wasn't the vibe back then, which is why we're just going for a, a nice lip oil. There we go, so this is the finished look. Now we've done the makeup, we need to move on to the hair, so mm, let's take this out of the double. So I've been looking online at like different hairstyles that they used to have back then and there's literally so many, so many involving like little plaits and clips and messy buns but I think the one I'm going to go for is basically, just please excuse this bad attempt of a middle parting, I have no idea what's going on there. I'm just going to sort of grab part of my hair on either side and I'm going to pop like a bobble in like that so it's still going to leave some down at the front. Uh, we're gonna put the bottle in right there. That's not a vibe, is it? What is going on with this bit? Ow! Yep, yeah. mm -hmm. we're just gonna roll with that because it's not really gonna get any better, is it? And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, that one's a lot higher up. Can we, can we fix that? I don't know, that's good. Oh, this is flipping my head out. Okay. And then just at the front of one of the sides, I'm gonna take like a little bit of hair again. Not the entire thing, just a little bit. And I'm just gonna like plait this little clump of hair. Approximately 10 hours later. Now we need to move on to the outfit, so outfit-wise, I don't know if I have any big 2000s. It was very like slogan tops, crop tops, like crop t-shirts, flared jeans, low-rise jeans, low-rise joggers, like them jogger sets that are like velvet, I definitely do not have one of them. So I'm going to have a root through my wardrobe and I'll be back with you when I find the most reasonable outfit that goes. So let's ignore the mess in the back. This is the outfit we're working with. I know it's not perfect. These jeans are meant to be high-waisted, but I've sort of left them further down because obviously low-rise jeans were a thing. And then I also noticed that layering clothes was a thing, so I've basically put like a, a black vest up underneath, but I've rolled it up so it's got the cropped vibe because crop tops are very in. And then I've just got like a white t-shirt put that over the top. And that is actually like done up at the back. And by the look, I mean I've tied it with a bubble. So this is the best outfit we've got. I apologise for the belly being on full display. Now for accessories. So, scrunchie. That is going on my wrist. Very groovy. Now, I've also got this necklace which I recently bought. Okay, that's a very bad angle. YouTuber goals right there. It's basically just like a padlock necklace. Ew, this looks disgusting. I'm sorry, I am um, just, I don't even have any words for what I am. But yeah, we're gonna put that on. And here we are, the finished look. So this is the necklace, which I just mentioned. And I've also got some glasses on because very colorful glasses were a thing back then. So these have got pink lenses, absolutely perfect. 
this is the finished look. Let me know what you think. Do I look like a groovy 2000s girly? Would I have got away with a fashion back then? Am I the next Hilary Duff or Britney Spears? I don't think I look great. Um, I think I'm going to avoid ever going into public looking like this. It's it's not a look, sisters. It's not a look. Okay, that's the end of the video. If you did like it, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Uh -oh.